free feeding. Does it pay? And what's the return on my investment if I do decide to create feed? These are common questions we often hear from cow-calf producers. I'm Erica Lundy, Extension Beef Specialist for the Iowa Beef Center at Iowa State University. On today's segment of our online educational videos focusing on controlling cow costs and enhancing profitability, we're going to talk about some tips and considerations for economically and efficiently creep feeding calves to add pounds at weaning. For many cow-calf producers, creep feeding has become a standard practice to help fill the void of those increasing growth requirements as the calf reaches weaning age that cannot be met from the dam's milk supply alone. Additionally, creep feeding is the first step to adjusting those calves to the weaning process by introducing them to a dry, concentrated feedstuff. The first consideration for creep feeding is really to assess the forage availability. If a calf already has access to an unlimited, high-quality forage supply, then supplementing with creep feed will likely only increase that calf's total feed intake and add to the cost of gain. Therefore, in this situation, it's probably not practical to creep feed. However, if we're in a situation where our pasture productivity is pretty low, whether that's due to overgrazing or, or maybe even just simply drought conditions, creep feeding is going to be a lot more economical because it's more efficient feed conversion and a more desirable feed cost for those calves. In this scenario, creep feeding tends to decrease forage intake of that calf as well. Creep feeding also has several benefits to the cow. Research has shown that when we creep feed, that it helps to relieve milking pressure from those dams, especially those younger females that are first or second calf heifers. Those younger females who have calves that have access to creep feed often weigh 20 to 30 pounds more at weaning compared to dams whose calves who have not had access to creep feed the research suggests that calves consuming creep feed require anywhere as low as 3 pounds of feed to add an additional pound of gain to well over 15 pounds of feed to add an additional pound of gain. So obviously we want those calves to be on the lower end of that intake spectrum so that they are more feed efficient, especially during times of tight margins and high feed cost. So let's talk numbers. This table here is putting some economics together to really look at the return on investment and cost of gain for creep feeding based on a given creep feed price and feeder calf value come weaning. In this table, we've made several assumptions about creep feeding, such as we're going to feed for 60 days and therefore would add 60 pounds of weight to those calves at weaning. We're also assuming that calves would eat roughly six pounds of creep feed per day, and we're going to have a feed conversion of six pounds of intake to one pound of gain. So this would be pretty typical based on what the creep feed research says. So looking across the top, we kind of have a price slide of those creep feed costs that's set up. If we do the math based on those assumptions that we've laid out above, we come up with an estimated total feed cost or the expense for feeding that creep feed for 60 days per calf. So for example, if we're looking at a creep feed that's $225 a ton, our creep feed cost for feeding that calf for roughly two months would be about $40 when he's consuming six pounds per head per day. We know that creep feeding adds weight at weaning, so therefore we're going to have an additional higher weaning weight that we have. So looking at that added calf value is accounting for that 60 pounds of weight advantage that a calf that was fed creep feed would have over a calf who is not creep fed and multiply that by our future feeder price of $1.35 in this example we see that the added value is $81 per head. So now looking at our return on investment and subtracting out that creep feed cost from that added calf value that we received from creep feeding that calf we have approximately $40 that's left in our pockets when we're looking at that $225 per ton creep feed. Of course, if we're feeding a more expensive creep feed, we would have a lower return on our investment compared to if we're feeding a, a cheaper creep feed option. Our cost of gain across the bottom does increase as the cost of that creep feed goes in. So now let's look at this as if a calf is going to consume twice as much and has a higher feed conversion. So in the middle column there, we would have a feed conversion of 12 pounds of feed to add on that one additional pound of gain. In this scenario, our cost of creep feeding is going to double since our intake has increased and therefore we're breaking even in this example. So controlling calf intake becomes pretty important when we're creep feeding. So what if we look at feeding that calf even longer? So in this scenario, we're going to look at feeding the calf for 90 days 
days instead of 60 days in that column on the right. We would like to see an increase in the total feed consumed over this period, and therefore our feed conversion would also increase. So now we're looking at a feed conversion of just shy of seven pounds of feed to add that one pound of gain in this example. While we are adding more pounds at that weaning weight, so 75 pounds in this example, our total cost of gain would go up and our return of investment would go down as we increase our days on feed. So while creek feeding might look profitable the majority of the years, it's important to keep in mind that this scenario looks strictly at the feed cost alone and does not account for any of the feeder rental rate or depreciation cost of owning a creek feeder. Additionally, don't forget that you can also utilize a custom blended creek feed that might include at least a portion of homegrown feeds such as corn instead of purchasing a commercial creek feed product that's already on the market. Monitoring calf creep feed intake is important to ensure feed efficiency. A good target for calf creep intake is between half to one percent of the calf's body weight. Inclusion of an ionophore, salt, or fat can also help control intake in a creep feed if necessary. If you have questions regarding implementing creep feeding and controlling cow cost, contact your extension beef specialist.